Now, scientists in the UK are investigating whether many cases of depression could be triggered by an overactive immune system. It's a theory attracting a lot of attention, and researchers are now looking at whether some anti-inflammatory drugs might help certain patients. Our medical correspondent, Fergus Walsh, has this special report. Depression is now the leading cause of ill health and disability worldwide. But around a third of patients who seek help don't respond to drug treatments or talking therapies. So now, scientists are trying a radical new approach. This team at King's College London are examining physical rather than mental causes for depression. In particular, they're looking at whether the immune system, which is designed to defend our bodies, can be a source of psychological harm. Carmini Parianti has spent 20 years investigating the link between the immune system and depression. So we know that stress activates the immune system, is a physiological response in a situation of danger. However, chronic life adversity switched on the immune system permanently. This affects the brain. It disrupts the connection between the different neurons, and this is what creates the depressive symptoms. Here you can see They're looking for biomarkers in patients' blood and saliva that show inflammation, a sign that the immune system is in overdrive. They're hoping to help patients like Michaela Witten from Brighton. Depression, I think, has always been with me from my teenage years until today. You know, it's been, it's been a part of my life. But it's been something that has limited my capacity and capabilities, probably progressively more so as you get older as well. Michaela has given tissue samples and is being scanned to see whether her immune system has caused inflammation in her brain. It's part of a Wellcome Trust funded trial led by Ed Bullmore. He says drugs used for conditions like rheumatoid arthritis could be repurposed. If we can identify the biomarkers that will allow us to uh, predict which patients with depression are most likely to respond to anti-inflammatory drugs. Uh, the good news is that there are a lot of anti-inflammatory drugs already available that might turn out to be effective antidepressants. There are several trials underway testing anti-inflammatory drugs for depression. For Michaela, finding a cause which is not in the mind would help change public perception. To be able to say that there are um, physical causes for depression or other mental health issues, um, this is immense. It's a massive, um, a massive turnaround and will definitely go towards um, combating some of the stigma that we have here around mental health issues.